helicopter, to quote the late aviation pioneer Igor Sikorsky, is probably the most versatile instrument ever invented. As Leonardo will tell you, with versatility, engineering precision and beauty comes complexity. The helicopter is an unbelievably complicated product with un, you know, non-linear problems when it comes to structural dynamics, aerodynamics, um, control systems. The needs for component design stretch our materials to the very limits of their capabilities. The difficulties you've got is to maintain um, the structural integrity of all those components and the consistency of manufacture so that the hundredth part that we manufacture is just as good as the one that we tested and showed was, was okay. But it's a fascinating product um, and it's that engineering fascination that has you know, occupied some of us for our entire working lives. Always striving for perfection and trying to reach for new heights in innovation, some of Leonardo's advancements and capabilities within the digital space is truly world class. But still, it's aiming higher. At the moment, we've got a top level uh, flight simulation, but with um, uh, levels of fidelity that we would like to exceed, uh, see spreading back down into uh, all of the subsystems so that we've got a true model-based um, systems engineering basis for some of our future developments. We have, though, recently won uh, the Divisional Award for Innovation, Process Innovation, when it comes to the work we've done simulating the behaviour of our aircraft in the ship airwake environment, looking at how easy it is to land rotorcraft on ship's decks and so on. So that's encouraging, but we've got more to do. With the difficulties and uncertainties of the past couple of years, even Leonardo hasn't flown high enough to remain completely unscathed. I do have a concern that um, the development of our younger staff or new starters in the business may have suffered as a result of a lack of face-to-face -face contact and that's something that we're having to look at quite closely. Now we're, we're starting to emerge from the uh, the COVID pandemic. Brexit is a concern to us. It's giving us some operating problems. Um, we as an engineering directorate work cross geographically and for many years we enjoyed cross geographic freedom of movement and so on and we're having to think a bit more carefully about that now. As the pace of technological transformation accelerates, so too of the challenges, the opportunities and the advancements in rotorcraft manufacturing. We're seeing all sorts of um, new challenges that we have to think about. Um, we've got new entrants into the market, um, particularly around uh, urban air mobility and um, electric drive multi-rotor solutions. That's obviously causing us to think about what configurations we're going to be looking to engineer in the future. We're obviously looking at uh, uncrewed as well as a potential um, area of, of travel in the, in the sector. Through the turbulence and through the winds of change, Leonardo continues to level out and touch down with these truly remarkable pieces of engineering.